sold 17 cars one month, 16 the other month, 13 another month. Um, last month he dipped down to 10. And, you know, that brings us to the topic that we were kind of focusing on is, you know, how do you overcome that? So he, he was just kind of down on himself. He's like, well, what's going on? And he was thinking that it was just going to naturally sell 10, uh, 17, 18 every month and he was making good money. So now that, you know, pretty much cut in half. Um, so, you know, I got to talk him off the ledge and tell him, hey, you know, this is not this is not a 30 day business. We're not basing our career on 30 days. I mean, we're we're basing this on on a career. So, you know, I got to sit him down and, and, and make sure he understands that. And, you know, pretty much the same thing that I did. You know, when I was doing 30, I, I had to figure out how to get to 40 and then how to get to 50. And the ultimate goal was to just to improve. It wasn't a specific number. Um, matter of fact, if you guys don't know me, I, I don't even know where I'm at number wise. I don't keep track of numbers. I have no idea where I'm at for the month. Um, I don't care where I'm at for the month. And, and people ask me all the time, well, how, how, where are you at now? I, I have no idea because I don't want the numbers to dictate what I do next. If, if I knew where I was number wise, then I might get worried of why I'm only at this number, or I might get lazy saying, well, oh, I'm at this number. I'm fine. Um, I, the number should not dictate where you are. So you got to keep that in mind. Um, it, it's simply helping the next person and helping the next person and, and the numbers will, will take care of themselves, I promise you. Carlos and you younger people, you're looking at this moment in time as failure, as not success, as struggle. And what you have to be looking at is you're not in this business for today. If you're working with us, you're in this business for five years from now when you have a scalable, profitable, sustainable, healthy business where you're not waiting on any dealer driven opportunities. And these people are just coming in to see you. Everything's a hug and everything lasts anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes, maybe an hour to buy and sell a car, right? Uh, to, to sell and deliver a car. So the first thing is, is you got to get out of the fatalistic world of at this time in the month, I suck. Therefore, my career lasts 30 days. I'm dead. Right. So that's the first thing you have to realize. The second thing you have to realize is your support system. Your manager does not have time to support you. They are managing chaos. They are struggling. Unbelievable. And, and they've got 12 people, 15 people who might be struggling as well. They might have two or three that are doing well, but they're, they're, they're mired in the muck of their day, of, of, of things they have to do as far as managing deals, as far as um, uh, unproductive obligations. And then they've got the rat killings of the day. And then they've got to coach and teach, which they just don't have time for. So you've got to get your health, spiritual, mental, stable, feet on the ground, you know, on the right feet. So your, your business is your business. You've got to own that. You can't depend on a manager to make sure that your business is on the right feet, that your shoes are on the right feet, right? If your life is on the wrong feet, if your shoes are on the wrong feet, then what happens is, is you feel unstable. So you got to know how to accomplish that and go, okay, I got this in this moment, starting my day. 